So he battled back from a little adversity and now two straight falls working his way into this gold medal battle. Front headlock attempt by the Ukrainian. Belenuk. There's an arm throw, beautiful arm throw. Look how fast that back step and those hips came around on that arm and right to the gut wrench. So four, six point lead now. Four points for the arm throw directly from his feet to his back to exposure to danger. And then he goes right to the, the gut wrench and scores two more points. Beautiful technique. Isolates that single arm, steps in, back step, gets those hips through, throws him over the top with his arm. Very, very quick, very explosive. There's some of the offense that we were talking about that we saw last night. El Miu, ranked number two in the world. Having a wonderful 2015, and it looks like he will continue that trend here in Las Vegas. But as we mentioned, keep an eye on Oscar Love. He fell behind earlier today and rallied the win. Both guys hanging in the collar tie, pushing and pulling, trying to get each other a little out of balance. Bel Nuuk went to that collar tie, pulled. When Asilov reached up with his arm, he secured that arm, isolated it. Beautiful back step, arm throw over the top for four head points. Up. Red head up. Blue head up. Referee wants them both to get their head up, get chest to chest in that more traditional Greco Roman position. Little front headlock again. Azakalov doing a good job of fighting that off. Comfortable six point lead for Belenuk. No fingers. The one throw, the one turn, the four and two point move here, and a six nothing lead for the Ukrainian. You see the Ukrainian really just blocking, staying in position, being hard to difficult to move, and, and not really going to take any risk. He's going to sit on this six point lead. It's really up to Askala for now to make something happen. Do you get that passivity, passivity call and, and get that chance on top? To maybe get something going in the parterre position. But we've seen no passivities in this match, really. One gold medal left to be passed out for the Greco-Roman, and it comes down to this 85 kilos. And a strong start for Ukraine, a 6-0 lead, as we will march into the second period. When you get stung like that early in a match, mentally, how did you approach trying to get back into it? Well, I mean, these, there's that arm throw. Beautiful execution. The hips came around so quickly. Amazing grip on that arm and then right to the gut wrench to score two more points. And there's that second of frustration when you realize you just got thrown to your back and it's the perfect time to go right into that gut wrench and score again. No fingers, open. But it's got to it's gotta set you off. It's got to trip your trigger. You've got no fingers, score. Okay. You're down by six points. You know you've got to take some risks. you got to open up and really make something happen. You're not getting the passivity calls that we've seen in some of the closer matches here. The Askalas really got to open up and try to make something happen and get and, and find a way to score on Belenuk. This, this Ukrainian is very, very solid. Blue action. There's a verbal warning on the Ukrainian, and here's a call for passivity. Blue action. Passive, okay? First warning for passivity in this match. He's going to have to really turn it up again, Askalas to get another passivity and get a, a parterre call. Get a chance on top and see how this Ukrainian's defensive skills are. He's really unable, Asikolov, to move him, get him out of position. There's a nice snap down by the Ukrainian. Caught him pushing and leaning a little too much. Able to release that pressure and chop those arms off and snap him to the mat. 
And here's the parterre position. Second passivity call for Asa Kalabi. Gets a chance in the advantage position. See if he can get a lock right away and really get to work because he's got six points to make up here. Ukrainian trying to jump, trying to get to that mat as quickly as he can. It's all that quick flinch. Probably knows what's coming. You see him blocking, trying to prevent the lock as long as he can. Official warning him to open up. Askolov has a lock now. He's trying to drive forward, find a way to get his feet under him. He really needs to lift because he needs to score the points. Belenuk moving a lot. There's a lift attempt, not gonna happen. Belenu never gave him a chance to get his feet under him. Did a great job of continuing that forward momentum, crawling on that lock, keeping him off balance. Now we're back to our feet with a minute and 30 seconds left, less than a minute and 30 seconds. Asakalov has got to start to feel some desperation here. He's got to find a way to score six plus points and get back in this match. Approaching a minute to go here in the second and final period. Six nothing, those six points coming in a flurry early in the first period. And with an arm throw like that, earlier in the match when you're still dry, you can see both athletes now fairly sweaty. It's hard to, to lock onto an arm and isolate it and get that same throw without slipping and falling to the mat. So he hit that early on in the match when they were still dry and he had to get a good grip on that arm. Belenuk's going to do his best to stay in the center of the mat. Not give up any position. Asakalov's really got to start opening up here and trying to make something happen. Try to attack the body, try to, try to do something to score some points. It's going to be something really big at this point with 10 seconds left in the match. So, the strong 2015 continues for Zan Belmiuk of Ukraine. Entered this tournament ranked number two in the world. He'll come away with the gold medal at 85 kilos for the Ukraine. Bronze medalist a year ago, gold medalist now for Ukraine, Zan Belmiuk. Had a tight 3-1 semifinal victory earlier today.